Actually, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> We're going somewhere by a river and maybe going to see a hermit who lives up in the mountains. Something like that, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> We're off. We made it. Like an hour? Oh! oh. Let's get a picture. Axe, make it in. Oh? Problem is? Why? That's Korea. Tax me in him. In Chia, in Gusban, you're Gusban. But I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good This is literally the biggest group of people we've ever hiked with in our life. Just so you know, this is supposed to be an easy hike, or this is an easy hike. -ish. Do you want to know what the hard ones are like? <laughs> you probably have to make your own bath the whole way. <laughs> Anyway, he only speaks Russian. Uh, yes, but uh, we will not enter the house yet. Yeah, we will enter it later. That's it. Yeah. Nice. The toilet. So this was the moment we met the hermit. We were told beforehand that he didn't really like people, but we didn't really realize how much he didn't like people because right after we showed up here, uh, we go to this bathroom, his bathroom to use after this hike. Oh, uh, I okay. need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you need to go bathroom. Yeah. Around the path? Yeah, yeah, just follow the path. Yeah. Toilet? Toilet, yeah. Found the toilet, nice. Oh, it's so cute. That's the coolest toilet in the world. Okay, gotta go bathroom. Oh, that's interesting. It's got a cloth seat. You're sitting, this is your view. Pretty cool, huh? One of the coolest, most fun videos. It's like a little house, plus. So funny. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the group and see if we can meet the hermit, get a picture of him or a video or something. I was hoping to get like a portrait shot of him or something like that, or ask him a few questions, but no, he just disappeared into the mountains. Anyways, we get back to this little story here. We get to see his house. He's a photographer and he took some cool photos. Originally, he had been there. He started living in this house because he had worked for the USSR when Tajikistan had been a, a part of the USSR. He was there to record weather and stuff like that. There was a helicopter pad there where I guess helicopters could come. But after the USSR fell apart and Tajikistan became an independent state, his weather station was closed down, but he just decided to stay and he's lived there for the last almost 30 years. He does open up his house for hikers and travelers, but generally, yeah, if it's a big group of people, he just disappears. Um, he doesn't like, yeah, he just doesn't like people that much. Then we hike back down to this we're gonna check out this trolley. So, what are these called? It's a hand trolley that takes you across the river. Yeah. The other way to do it is just to like lie across it and shimmy across.
Andre. 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 We're with Andre, our driver, on this hand trolley. I don't know where we are. Nice. Go on. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think part of the hike is to take that thing across the river and then take a different path back. But uh, I guess that trail right now isn't doing super hot at the moment. So we just took a try it for fun, just to see what it was like. Now we're gonna try and launch up the drone. <laughs> 